Hello, thank you for tuning in to this segment of Daily Bread. I am going to uh, talk about being the light. The title of this video is Be the Be the Light. Amen. <laughs> hey, I have to get to it because, um, yeah, my papers were blown over. I'm going to start off with prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word you have bestowed upon my heart. I thank you for blessing me with this word, Heavenly Father. I thank you for anointing me the grace and um, mercy to 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 speak this word in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all you've done and everything you want you're going to do in my life. Heavenly Father, I pray for the listeners. May this word be a blessing to them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Okay. My papers keep flying everywhere. Wings kind of blowing today. Okay. The, the title of this message is Be the Light. Now, how do you be the light? Um, to be a light, you have to stand out. Standing out means confidence. And I spoke uh, before about uh, 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 be willing to be set apart. You need to be willing to be set apart. And usually that means you have to walk in your true divine nature. Be confident and knowing who you are. Um, I, I'm going to, for example, I'm going to go with Jesus. Uh, um, <laughs> what he spoke, uh, what he spoke to the Pharisees. Uh, John chapter 8, verse um, 12 through 14. Jesus said, again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, you are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true. For I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. Let's read uh, chapter 15, uh, verse 15. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. See, Jesus knew who he was, so therefore he was able to be confident. He know where he he knew where he was going. He knew uh, where he came from. Therefore, he was able to walk in authority. He said, "You do not know." Basically, Jesus was telling the Pharisees, "You don't know me." <laughs> <laughs> and many of us, in order for you to be confident and to let your light shine, you need to walk in authority. You need to know where you come from. You need to ask God to show you where you're going to 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 allow you, excuse me, to allow you to walk in authority but and fill you up with that confidence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Baby, can you stay close? I love you. You can play, but stay close. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, Jesus knew who he was. He he told them flat out, like, uh, you do not who I know who I am. You do not know where I'm going. They was judging by the flesh. They were looking at his his outer appearance. And 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 that's what that was that's what caused Jesus to be a stumbling block for many people. Okay. Jesus uh know know who you are know who you are okay baby no know who you are in christ and keep yourself clean if we go to first corinthians <laughs> baby go play okay if we go to first corinthians Chapter 6, verse 17. It says, But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the but the sexual immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have, who you have from God? You are not your own, for you were brought with a price. So glorify God 
in your body you need to know that once you accept jesus as your uh lord and savior that you are not your own you are you you have been paid uh you have been paid there was a sacrifice made to pay for your sins so you need to keep yourself clean this is how you can be the light in the world keeping yourself clean not doing everything you see the people walking in darkness do you need to do what god tells you to do through the holy spirit hallelujah Hallelujah. Okay, do the opposite of non-believers. Do not engage in the spirit of jealousy. Do not engage in the spirit of anger. Do not engage in the things of this world. Like, if somebody wants to uh, flip you off in traffic or cut you off, uh, just let it go. Just let it slide off. Pray, pray for it. And I know we get tempted. I know we get tempted. But this um, being a part of the light means that you do not allow silly things to bother you. Like those who live in the darkness, they allow everything to bother bother them they allow everything to be an offense but when you're in the light you, you don't see everything as a problem anymore you see everything as a blessing like I'm glad that I am not the way that I used to be because when I was when when I was the old Tierra I used to curse people out I used to do this that and third and I was always in the spirit of 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 rage hallelujah thank you jesus <laughs> for for renewing me and restoring me in order to be the light you must be do the opposite of what those in darkness does now does that mean that you shun people in darkness no if we go to ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 it says, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. A fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Love. Be imitators of God. And I was like, God, what do you mean be imitators of God? And God took me to uh, Genesis. He said, I made uh, men, men, male and female in my image and i was like okay and he said if, if you are my child if you are my daughter or my son you must walk in in my image you must be an imitator of me so so what i was like what are you saying guys so that means everything that i was able to do everything that i bless adam and eve with from the beginning if you accept jesus as your savior you will be able to do those things that were that were that were uh, taken away by by the sins of Adam and Eve, and I was like, okay, God, I I believe, but uh, <laughs> God would say there, there's levels to it. God told me about faith, and we're gonna get to that too. But we must be imitators of God. If God loves us unconditionally, if God forgives our sins, we shall do the same to those that are in our circle, that are in our family. We must not condemn anyone for what they, they have done, but we shall love them unconditionally be, because that is the way of God. Amen. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7, it says, love covers a multitude of sins. That doesn't mean that uh, love covers up sin, like, okay, you can keep on sinning, but because I love you, it's okay. No, love unconditional love and forgiveness covers a multitude of sin that makes that person not want to do it anymore when i started when i first got saved and i was still struggling with with, with some sins and 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 i was just like oh my god i don't want to do this anymore because i'm reading your word you forgive me you're not condemning me and you keep on tapping on me you keep on you keep on holding me up and building me up why would i want to do that and some of us are condemning one another in this natural world. We're condemning one another. And this has allowed this, them to keep doing the deeds of the darkness because we are not showing them uh, um, unconditional love or forgiveness. We are showing them um, 
the ways of how people in the darkness handle things people in the dark will judge people they, they would say okay this is a goal uh this is friendship goals this is relationship goals they have these theories but they don't have they have all these theories and all these uh uh recipes that how to be a friend or how to be a, a a mother or how to be a father but they don't use love baby they don't use love unconditional love and we need to get to the point where we're loving people unconditionally so and and not putting a, a statement on it but just doing it just being love unconditionally not 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 having a whole 12 12 page uh essay about it but <laughs> just love people because there's no recipe there's no formula 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 firm formula to how you should love somebody only through god's love only through unconditional love in the name of jesus hallelujah okay if any if any of you are struggling with sin this is your time to ask god uh to heal you from it you ask you shall receive you knock the door uh shall be open um god as long as you fully commit yourself to god and fully allow yourself to be covered he will cover he will help you with all of your weaknesses so that satan will not have a standing or a footing in your life amen ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 no, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 7 through 14, it says, Therefore, do not become partners with, with them. Walk as children of light, for the fruit, fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Chapter uh, Verse 15, it says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. Uh, verse 16, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. 17, therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. 18, and do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. You must be filled with the Spirit. Uh, in order for your light to shine you must not you must not walk with those in darkness and continue to do the works of, of satan but you must allow your light to shine you shall walk by the spirit in the name of jesus and and, and god took me to john chapter 15 this is the verse of to, of the day john chapter 15 john chapter 15 Verse 4 through 6, it says, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burn if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you god says if you abide in me and i in you ask for whatever you wish and it will be done to you. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. And, it, and seek first God and his righteousness. And all other things will be added to you. If you abide in God f with everything that you want to do. You cannot do anything. Once you're saved, you cannot start, you know, doing everything on your own. You need to keep on abiding in God from when you wake up until you go to sleep. Um, you need to continue to uh, be intimate with God, telling him everything that you went through and what you, you want to see change in your life so that he can bring these things to fruition. But it, it, he cannot know you. How can you, how can you know somebody if you don't talk to him?
I can say I cannot say I know any of you if I do not talk to you. But if you continue to seek God and you continue to speak with him, he you will then uh gain a relationship and 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 that 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 allows God to start doing for you, doing for you more and more because I know you, you know me. We're on one accord right now. And that's why God says be imitators of God. Be imitators of God. Walk in love. Because one cannot be filled with the spirit if they do not walk in love. And always remember that love covers a multitude of sins. Not covers them up. But it covers a multitude uh, of sins. Let your light shine. Let your light shine so that... Um, Others may feel that presence and that that presence of God and that anointing on your life and be transformed by it, leading them to salvation. I pray this message spoke to many of you. I pray this uh, message uh, brought healing into you. Uh, remember to love people unconditionally, not with what you see them doing, because Satan likes to deceive us with uh, what we see and not what God thinks about that person. God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. So God is not going to show me anything evil about a person. God's going to show me what is good within a person. So ask God to give you his mind in the name of Jesus. I pray that you walk in the light. I pray that you be the light. May you forever glorify God in Jesus name. I pray amen.